Humble Lions D career and technical education classes are diverse and personalized for our students across the district. Currently, the Humble ISD Career and Technical Education offers four graduation endorsements, 40 programs of study, and over 170 courses on the middle and high school levels. In addition, over 67% of high school students are enrolled in campus-based CTE classes. The programs are hands-on with comprehensive industry preparation throughout the courses. In addition, numerous industry certifications and internships are offered to the students. The bond would align middle school programs and update the high school programs. Those updates would include health science flex labs at Kingwood Park, Atascacita, and Summer Creek High Schools. It would also allow for the renovation of space at Kingwood and Summer Creek High Schools for the addition of veterinary medicine labs. Six of the middle schools would be renovated to provide workshop space for STEM labs as well as kitchen space for culinary labs. The bond would allow all students across the district the opportunity to explore career pathways before entering college or the workforce. All students could receive hands-on experience that would prepare them for entry into college or career pathways starting in middle school. Hi, I'm Roger Brown, Deputy Superintendent for the Humble School District. Today I'm here to talk to you about the student growth that we're experiencing and why Middle School 11 is part of the 2022 bond package. So here you can see this year we've added 2,700 students to our population and for 2017-18 we had just a little over 42,000. Currently today we're just over 48,000 and based upon our demographic study, we will be uh, just a little over 52,000 students by the time we reach the end of this decade. So we are a growing school district. And this map indicates the growth area. When you see the red areas, that's the high intensity growth that we're experiencing. So that's where the majority of the students are showing up in these red areas. And so we need to be prepared for that. So at our elementary level, um, there are, uh, according to our projections, going to be about 22,000 students by the end of the decade. And we have a capacity in our school buildings to uh, hold a little over 23,000 students. So we have the capacity to meet the student growth at the elementary level. And you can see that here in this map, while we may have the capacity to meet that growth where we're really experiencing it is here in the southeast and so we're projecting about 8700 students in this southeast portion of the district and down in this area we have capacity for about 8300 students and so uh, we're going to manage that we think we'll be able to do that with uh, some classroom additions so as we look at the growth uh, at our middle school level, you can see by the time we reach the end of the decade, 2930, that uh, it is projected we will have just under 13,000 students and our capacity for the number of students we can serve is just under 11,000 students. So uh, we've, we've got a difference there that we need to plan for. So like the elementary schools, a lot of our growth at the middle school level is here in the southern portion of our district. So when I look over here, I see Sterling Middle School projected to have 1,400 students by the end of the decade, but yet currently a capacity of 950. And then we have Westlake Middle School, 1,400 projected capacity, capacity of 1,100. Humble, 1,700, over 1,700 students by the end of the decade. Autumn Ridge, which we are opening this fall, fall of 22, uh, is projected by the end of the decade to be over 1,400 students, and then Wood Creek, uh, uh, over 1,200 students by the end of the decade. So that is why you see the middle school 11 as part of the 2022 bond package is in order to provide more capacity for the number of middle school students that's projected to be with us by the end of the decade. Bond 2022 plans for our growing student enrollment. 
Bond 2022 would fund construction of a new Ross Sterling Middle School campus. The new campus would be designed for 1,250 students. The current campus is designed for 950 students. Bond 2022 would also fund construction of an additional middle school, middle school number 11 in the southeast portion of the district. Middle school number 11 would be designed for 1,250 students. According to the Passive Growth Study commissioned by Embel ISD, the district currently has a capacity of 15,950 high school students across all campuses. By 2030, student growth will top out around 17,478. Most of that growth will occur in the Summer Creek High School Attendance Zone. As Embel ISD grows on the south side of the district, the proposed Bond 2022 projects for Summer Creek High School will address many issues to accommodate the future students. Those projects include 35 general classrooms, 5 CTE and science classrooms, storage, restrooms, mechanical rooms, offices, and collaboration areas, additional parking spaces, and the cafeteria will see the addition of a satellite dining commons area and serving lines, as well as an additional snack bar. By making these improvements, Humble ISD will expand Summer Creek High School and offer students comparable facilities and curriculum across the district.